Oh. <gasps> the scary book. To stay away. No! The prism? Welcome back, my oodles and noodles, to more Baldur's Gate 3. Let's not waste any time and jump into the recap. Okay, picture this. Since being captured and held on the Nautiloid and escaping the Hells, we crashed somewhere back in the material plane. After exploring the area, seeking out a healer who might be able to take out the Mind Flayer Parasite, we stumbled across a couple of new friends. One of them being the Wizard of Waterdeep. His name was Gale, a pale elf named Astarian, and the daughter of darkness called Shadowheart. After picking up our fellow companions, we found that people were taking refuge in a grove learning that there is a healer that might be able to help us out and her name being Netty. After talking to Netty, we realized that Netty wasn't really apt to actually helping us. But she did mention that there was a druid before her named Halzin that actually might be able to help us out. Halzin's research suggests that the parasite is connected to a goblin camp located in an old temple of Saloon. There, we might be able to actually help Halzin escape and he in turn might be able to help us out. Some other notable side things that we encountered was a small girl named Arabella, a druid Rath, and another druid, Kaga. The druid, Wrath, told us the first druid, Halzen, might be the only one capable of stopping Kaga, but there we have it. That is where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys have so far been enjoying the journey, do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more Baldur's Gate 3 action, as we'll do that. I think we're doing it three days a week, from what I remember. Um, we have to set forth and rescue the druid, Halzen. We could also swing by and get help from the Auntie Ethel. She was actually somebody we went to for potions and to sell but it's funny because you don't really sell things here I guess you just you just trade which is what I was very confused about there's also a bunch of other side things that we could be doing like rescuing the refugees oh did you want to talk that is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. <laughs> okay, they're talking amongst themselves. That's so fun. I love that everything you encounter is just like a mind puzzle. Strange. Ooh. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Okay. The pig's dead, my friend. Oh. Staring at it won't bring it back. Oh. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. <laughs> <laughs> Medicine. Examine the boar's corpse. Yeah. I, I, sure. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Our first failure of the day. Also, we gained inspiration. I forgot to notate that. The boar seems to be fresh. Only a few hours dead. But you can't find any sign of a wound. See? Nothing. Come on, we're wasting our time. Uh, that's never a good sign when you don't find a wound. It usually means there's something more. It's usually like a little bit of foreshadowing, if anything. I guess I should have I should have brought up that we ended up after saving Arabella, I believe. She we got a bit of inspiration because of the good deed that we did. Okay, let's talk. I told them to run, the idiots. You better turn north here, or you'll end up like them. Uh, I wonder if it was the goblins. Thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. Oh, fine. I remember you. I have somewhere else to be. I left quickly as I could. I didn't want to waste any time with Devil Spawn. I thought you were busy leading your crew. Not no more. Oh, sorry. Contract didn't mention no goblins. I would have prepped the lads, brought better weapons. What was the contract? Looks like you were ill prepared. A few goblins killed your whole crew? Pathetic. What was the contract? The kind that leaves half your crew dead. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic, supposedly buried round these parts. Mm. Not any use if you're too cold to spend it. Mm. We discovered a crypt that could be related to whatever artifact they're talking about. Let's say that. Let's say I want that gold. Where, where would I find that relic? You're giving up. I might take a shot at it myself. True, I wouldn't risk it for twice the gold. I'm gonna say you're giving up. I might take a shot at it myself. Have at it. If you think you can do better. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. Hmm. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. The voice acting in this game is very oh, good. What's the contract? Can show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. 
I hear the druid's leader went with you. Oh, that's where we're going, right? Thanks, I'll take it. This whole thing sounds like a setup. The druid leader. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that night song relic, he was more eager than a hound in heat. When the goblins jumped us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught them to. The old codger didn't. And you left him to die? Hand over the contract. Maybe I'll get the reddick and save the druid. I'm just glad to be rid of the bloody thing. Happy hunting. Oh, books. You can read books and notes you have picked up in your inventory. So the temple and our druid friend is in the same place. Perception failed. Since a classic ambush in the making. Okay, we haven't just so we haven't done a lot of fighting stuff in a while. I'm a little nervous. Can we? Uh, there's a couple of directions we can go. I am tempted to fight, but the combat still is a little. I don't want to get. I don't want them to get the jump on us. Whoa! That was weird. That was interesting. Okay, so I can also level up. I did not know that you could level up your whole party. <laughs> Until you guys very so kindly mentioned it to me. Oh, I can I gain a subclass. Okay, I thief, arcane trickster, and assassin. Okay, what's funny is I'm actually pretty familiar with the subclasses, and I love that everything is pretty similar to normal D&D. So if you play like normal D&D, a lot of the lore and the subclasses are all very, very similar. I... It, it, there's also another subclass. I think that's when you get to like love the next level, but so arcane trickster seems to be very combat heavy. I don't know. I really want to stick with the assassin stuff, but I've heard that the assassin stuff was nerfed pretty bad. So we can learn cantrips and spells with arcane trickster though. Yeah, I feel like that's a given. Well, let's just do that. I'm excited for that. I don't know how we all got to be able to level up, but it took me like 15 minutes to figure out what I really wanted to level up to. <laughs> Ooh. I did pick up a, a really cool thing, actually. I picked up Minor Illusion. Create an illusion that compels nearby creatures to investigate. And I can do Minor Illusion all the way up here. So what if I go back? And I know that was an ambush, but what if we ambush them? Hmm? So what if I Minor Illusion right there? Summons, you have summoned a creature, select the its portrait in the party line to control its actions. Huh, okay. I have advantage now. Seems like an ambush, but for why? I don't think it worked. Oh, maybe it did work, I don't know. <gasps> you sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend. Might have to take that nose. I like that our party members are here. Strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. Hmm. Something within you stirs in response. Deception. What? The guard let me pass. Intimidation. Or you could let me pass and live to see nightfall. Persuasion. I bypassed your guards. If it if I meant you harm, I could have just killed you all. Detect thoughts. Illithid and wisdom. Let's try again, shall we? Address me properly. <laughs> Persuasion. Oh, that class difficulty is so hard. Uh, can I add a bonus? Advantage. Scroll of charm. Okay. <laughs> if we fail now, I don't know what what we'll do. Boom. Oh yeah, so we take the higher of the two rolls. That makes a lot of sense for advantage. Okay. Uh, go on. Yes. With you. Mind your manners. Uh, just passing through, Astarian is inspired. Inspiration gained. What about this guy though? Is that guy charmed? And pretty sure we're good. How long will he be charmed for? I wonder. I think I see. So wait, are we good then? I'm I'm very confused. They would have attacked by now, right? Lost the condition charmed. But I think we're good. Oh, okay. So they'll they're gonna they're all chill. Well, there's a hatch. Darkness. Use a light source like a torch or a light to s spell to see in the dark. Creatures with dark vision don't need extra light. We're never gonna get to where we need to go. <laughs> 
Oh, you're right. Oh, guys, I'm never gonna get to my actual quest. There is so much stuff. How does anyone actually make it to a quest? I feel like all I'm doing is exploring and leveling up and reading and reading and reading and a lot of reading. We are going to crouch around. This seems pretty dangerous. Oh, you know what? Save, save often, save frequently, save often, save frequently. We charmed the, the goblins and we're now in a cave. That would have been really sad. <gasps> okay. 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 Oops. All right. Well, I was clearly surprised, but there, uh, okay. Uh, how do we do this? Wow. What a freaking shot. Holy crap, that was so fun. All right, I, it said I wasn't holding a weapon. How could I not be holding a weapon? Can we equip the rapier? There we go. Everyone did not take damage. How fun. So how do we not just get totally jumped by these guys? Oh, not all the caskets have dead in them, but I'm assuming some of them do. All right, we've got something up here. An ornate mirror, medium toughness. Hey! Mirror, mirror on the wall. Ooh, I am a person, someone, Dale. Examine your appearance. Tell it your name. Repeat the name from the book you read. Elin Toth. My master stands tall and proud. You are not Elin Toth. <laughs> oh. You are his ally. Step forward and declare it. Yes, I am an ally of your masters. I don't have time for games. Let me pass. Yeah, I'm an ally. A true ally of Illintoth may pass. What think you of the Zalkir known as Zastar? Uh, <laughs> history failed. Of course I, of course I failed the history check. He's a fine Zalkir as ever lived. He's a foul, wretched creature. You are no Zalkir, but... Are you wise? Tell me, why might one use balsam ointment? I read a doctor's journal. He used balsam to clean a wound. It treats burns. I read a doctor's journal. Yeah. <laughs> if you could see anything in me, what would it be? Have I actually been winning these? Uh, okay, hold on. Ornate mirror. I'd like to see the ones I love. I'd look for whatever spell would rid me of the this worm in my head. I'd see my enemy's sufferings. I want to tell the truth. You seek to survive. You seek power. Was that right? I was right. Excuse me, charlatan mirror master. Inspirate. I am seeping with inspiration right now. Am I? I was contemplating looking that last one up. No, the second one. The one where it was like, what do you use the cream for or whatever? I was sitting here like, what do I use the cream for? Picked up a rotten tomato. Don't talk about it. Guys, I'm never getting to my freaking quest. I'm so intrigued. I gained inspiration and I got through the freaking mirror. That's amazing. Does everyone get through the mirror? I want to feel like I'm special. Why is there blood everywhere? Let's light a candle, I guess. Research notes. Raised dead. Failed. Gone too long. Body decomposed. Reanimation. Failed. Speak with the dead. Failed. Clone. Failed. Reanimation plus clone. Failed. Resurrection. Failed. Why? Magical curse. True resurrection. I have reached the limit of my skills and resources. The book offers help. Dare I ask? Dare I accept? What book? Probably a dark book, huh? Magnifying glass. Oh, look. A crystal ball. Okay, <laughs> let's just pick that up. Oh, that's cool. We have so many spells. Am I just getting lucky? I feel lucky. Should I be feeling lucky? All I did was pass through a goblin village. Now I'm on another adventure. Be wary. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, I stepped on a trap. Pretty sure I stepped on the trap already. You need to disarm the trap with a toolkit. Medium toughness. All right, let's use a toolkit. Use. I have dexterity plus three thieves proficiency. Uh, can we add a bonus? Let's add guidance and roll, baby. <gasps> oh my god, I did it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Woo! That was a close one, you guys. Open. <laughs> 
Uh, where? I thought I unlocked it. No trap disarm toolkit available. Oh no, because I already did it, right? No trap. Oh, okay. Got it. Oh, but I gotta pick up the book, right? The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. This is a scary book. An oval recess in the cover's mouth. Oval recess. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Hmm. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? Uh, why? Drop the tome ready to destroy it. Tuck the book in your pack. Leave the book be. Mm. So we read from the note that the, the, the this book, it might be, I think it might be sentient. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be ready to destroy it. You feel better the second the book is out of your hands. You can't be serious. Give it to me this instant. Oh, stronger, commanding. I knew it was sentient. They have no hold on you. All you have to do is strike. Enter turn based mode. What? You've entered turn based mode. The game has paused around you and the time is broken down into rounds that represent six seconds each. I would like to get out of this room now. <laughs> Can I actually have dash out of this room? I think all of us need to get out of this room. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think we're good. I don't really need to do anything else, right? Yeah, because we got ourselves out of the room. So these are to basically avoid traps. That's what these are. Hmm. Was I supposed to destroy this? Uh, let's try firebolt, I guess. Nope. Okay, did I finally get out of there? Wait. But how do I get out of this? What? How do I get out of turn-based combat? Huh, I am seeing it might be a bug. So... <laughs> okay, I don't know what just happened. I, I cannot take off turn-based turn mode. But now that I'm out in the woods, maybe I can go for like a rest? Yeah, a long rest. Okay, I'm hoping that this, this did something. That was crazy. I don't even know what just happened. So um, I'll check in with everyone real quick. You're staring at me again. What do you want? Oh my God, Astarian, you're being mean. Oh, it's cause he doesn't, I don't think he's very happy with me. My decisions so far have been not what Astarian has liked very much. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Oh? <gasps> Shit. What the hell? Astarian! No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. Um. I, uh, how? I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. I can't believe I didn't see it. Well, I did. How long, how long since you've killed someone? Days, hours, melee attack. I can't believe I didn't see it. We even found the boar you snacked on. Oh, it was the boar. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. Well, I don't think so either. I feed on animals. Balls, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. I don't think that he would the want to give in. Sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds. Hmm. half revealed. Why didn't you tell me? I don't care how much you need. You're not drinking my blood. Push into his mind, searching for the truth. Uh, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> okay, that's nice. I love that I got a low roll, but it wasn't hard to begin with. I... What's this? What's happening? Something stirs deep within you. Hungry. Okay. It's taking something you'll never get back. His mind opens up, 
revealing cracked and quivering memories. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. Ooh! You open your mouth and bite down, not into a tender neck. But into the twisting body of a rat. Hmm. The only thing your master lets you eat. What? You ate animals because you were forced to, not because you wanted to. I. Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. I do believe you. You tried to bite me. How can I trust you? Leave. If I ever see you again, I'll kill you. Hmm. You, tr you did try to bite me. How was it not what it looked like? How can I trust because you? We don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please. Only be a taste. I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine, and everything can go back to normal. Fine, but not a drop more than what you need. All right, but if you go too far, I'll drive a stake through your chest. Are you mad? No. Seems like our two choices are yes, yes, and no. <laughs> so, fine. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. I think I'm in love with the voice Let's actor. comfortable, shall we? Oh... Uh. Hot. Hello. It's like a shard of ice I don't know why he doesn't just do his wrist, right? That fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. Uh, persuasion. That's enough. Push him back. Melee attack. Persuasion. That's enough. Easy. All we needed was a one there. I think we would have we would have won that no matter what. Hmm? Oh, of course. Why didn't you go for the wrist? That. That was amazing. Uh, oh, did we give him a taste of human blood and? Mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. I don't. That felt wrong. <laughs> looking forward to seeing you fight. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, that's the face I would make, too. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Huh. Oh, he's sleeping by the tent now, so he's, he's sleeping near us. He wasn't doing that before. What is this? Am I groggy? Oh, maybe I had a bad night's sleep. Good morning. How do you feel? A bit woozy. My neck hurts. How do you feel? Feel awful. Uh, my neck hurts. Be grateful I'm not a true vampire. Though. Oh, wow. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Is that how you can stand in the sun because you're not a true vampire? Yeah, actually, I didn't even think about that. Also, I didn't realize that my eye was really irritated. Don't mind me. Apologies. <laughs> it's just this This is a problem for a long time, but you don't need to worry about it. This is uh, any other drawbacks I should know about. Pity, I thought you were more powerful. Is that how you can stand in the sun? Oh, no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Oh. Someone. Or... Something wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly what? mundane activities. You can't walk through a river? And my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. Now, the, the, the flirting is very thick. What's causing this? The mind flayer parasite? If I can help, just ask. We're in this together. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. <laughs> well, then there's still time. Those people haven't read smut. Well, that explains the pallor. 
Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. Oh, and a quick word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. Keep your distance. <laughs> Enough, we need him. Like it or not, I trust him. He won't hurt us. Oh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell. Distracting <laughs> nighttime prowling. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. They've, they've made him into a very likable character, I have to say. Okay, is my turn base off now? So if I leave camp, are we chill? I'm not gonna be in turn base anymore? Or do I have to quit the game? That was killing me before. Okay, I think we're good. But I'm feeling a little lightheaded or dizzy. Oh, uh, we explored a little bit of the village. I'm not 100% sure how much exploration more I want to do. I think we should just try to kind of get to the camp at least, bare minimal. At the bare minimum, we should at least get to the camp. Because in that little cave area, it took me so long to get through there. Oh, geez. Uh, I think we just go this way. Rescue the gnome. <laughs> Uh oh. We got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. No, we're safe. <laughs> <laughs> Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. Hey, we, we're not gonna fight. I just wanna pass by. <laughs> Funny. That's what our birdie wanted. Release me this instant, you beasts! Unless you want to join him up there, you best pay the toll. A thousand? As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Huh. Persuasion. I might be willing to part with some uh, more reasonable sum. That's ridiculous an amount of an amount, I'll make you a realistic offer. We can detect his thoughts. I'm going to pay nothing and you and your cronies are going to leave so we can Jedi force him or we can provide directions to a non-existent cache of gold. Uh, no. Can I go back? Oh no, I didn't real. I, uh. all right, let's do it. Yes. Well, I guess it couldn't hurt to read his thoughts. Uh, that's a lot of coin, I think. Your price is absurd and you know it. You want a haggle? Fine. The price just doubled. How do you like that? Wait, what? Pay the higher sum? You know that's a lower figure. I've changed my mind. Release the gnome and clear off or else. Huh. I'm gonna pay the lighter sum. Good choice. Now clear off. If I see you here again, no price will save ya. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Gnome. Look how many freaking guys there are. We were warned to stay away. No! We'll have to face the consequences. I was supposed to go through! Oh my dear God. I was not expecting that. Mm, guys, this is this is crazy. I lost that battle. <laughs> this is crazy. I didn't realize that we were going to be going back into the... I, I wanted to go around those guys. I didn't want to fight all of those enemies. That is certainly crazy. All right, well, let's just keep moving forward. I'd prefer to at least get to the temple. Goblin camp. All right. Oh! This is off limits. Get to the main gate or I'll plug you full of arrows. Huh. Well, what if we just go around, huh? Because the idea is supposed to, we're, we're supposed to get our guy, right? No, we have to go around. Hmm. Can I jump over that area over there? Jump right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's debilitating. is irresistible oh recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others only infinitely stronger 
Oh! Who's got that kind of power, huh? Leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. Huh. All my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison. And you will be worthy to stand beside them. The prism? In my presence. That's what I was thinking too. from you pushing the voice away my power grows my forces gather the reckoning draws. why here why now well you can't really hide that from us anymore <laughs> i don't know what just happened any more than you do we should keep going. Oh, you're not you're not going to acknowledge I this. I don't know what that toy of hers is, but I'm glad it's on our side. Huh. You've got some explaining to do first. What is that thing you have? The vision, that voice, what was it? The power. Is that what happens to the others when they use the parasite on them? Seems like the trink trinkets important. Keep it close. What is that thing you have? Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate at any cost. Why Baldur's Gate? What aren't you telling me? There must be more to it. I need you to level with me. I... I am a servant of Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. I need to bring that artifact back there. But where did you I get it? I can't tell you anymore. Hmm. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth. For all it's worth. Let's continue. Yeah, thank you. you Finally. Blimey. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. Mistra, you've been lying to me. How long are you going to keep this a secret? I don't care who you worship. Tell me about the artifact. I don't know if she could tell us anymore. Pushing her will only just push her away. I didn't agree to join up with the Shar worshiper. Your faith is your own concern, not mine. Thank you for sharing. No need to thank me. This is out of pure necessity, pure desperation, in fact. Okay, well, that's the last time you get a... Every time I think that I'm making headway with her, she just goes off and does something else, huh? Tell me about the artifact. What just happened? There's nothing more I can tell you. A powerful artifact indeed to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the absolute itself. The three figures in the vision, the chosen are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Hmm. Heart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination. At any cost. And you still do not know what it even is. Keep that thing safe. Seems we'll need it. Give me the artifact. Nah, keep it safe. I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. When do I get cool armor? I want cool armor. I want like really cool rogue rogue stuff. Okay, so we're not exactly supposed to be here. Uh, we have to go that way, which would be this way. Oh, we are actually getting close. I just happened to bypass. <laughs> nice. Okay. What should I do? Should I make an illusion? Oh, are they fine? I think they're chill. Is it because I didn't start any trouble with anyone? With fragulous crown and with scepter abrade, 
Draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper, may <laughs> the inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, true soul had led you gallant. <laughs> Give him your rapt attention. Fregulous Galide. I don't know this language. Bravo. Boo. Get off the stage. <laughs> Give him your rapt attention. Yes, move off. Do what she says. Now. <clears throat> now. Where was I? Huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours. Oh. Certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You sorry. Lie. Sorry. I'm sorry. Never. Come, <laughs> let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, she jealous? Um, <laughs> I am um, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, um, uh, uh, draw Ragslin. I can't believe by staying quiet, I already messed this up for him. You broke him. Wait, wait. Draw Ragslin, we play, we... Come on, pigeon, back to your cage. Now, oh, look what you've done. Wah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, who do I talk to? Oh, is this... This is a person that I don't know, but he's... Oh, it's a quest. Okay. Ooh, so I need to... I'm gonna save because God knows that I am so bad at saving the game. Let's talk. All right, a gurgun. <laughs> Slightly drunk, he said, you can't go inside. I'm assuming that if we go to the door, he's gonna be mad at us. What if we can find another way in? I think I can go around, can't I? Let's talk. Everyone, come, come, come. Come, come. So the tadpole allows us to influence others. How very interesting. Don't get too excited. Influence comes at a cost. And until we know what that cost is, the only reasonable approach is a cautious one. Uh, you have the ability to manipulate people, make them bend to your every whim, and you'd be cautious about it. <laughs> That's no fun. <laughs> okay, such powers of manipulation could be useful, and if it makes our enemies more malleable, all the better. If this power comes from the parasites, it can't be trusted. However useful it might be, these are strange times, and even stranger powers. We should seek to understand them before we make any rash decisions. Sensible. Huh. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming that I can go around the camp and maybe find another way in. That's kind of what... Uh, perception? Should I be hiding? Okay, okay, okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah, poison. That's nice. You know what? We didn't even try the door. Let's just try the door. Okay. <laughs> uh, Gail, you good? Spare me a moment, if you please. Yeah, this is not a good time. Something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just like two days. Shared something with you. It's a rather personal matter that I'd have preferred to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Oh, is it contagious? No, no nothing <laughs> like that. So if I fail to treat it, then the consequences would not be contained to me alone. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Oh, your illness causes you to consume raw magic? I'm going to need details. What kind of items are we talking about exactly? Wouldn't that ruin the item? What happens if you don't consume these artifacts? Are you telling me you're addicted to magic? No, no, <laughs> nothing. Magic isn't a narcotic to me. It's quite literally a lifesaver. I would not burden anyone other than myself with this were the stakes not so high and the means of obtaining such artifacts challenging for a humble wizard to face. How did you do it alone then? 
It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. Where do you suggest we find these artifacts that you need? I fail to see why you need me to help you with this. You've done so, so far and without me. I'd be happy to help. Sounds like no condition I've ever heard of. I'd say you were just fishing for loot. Uh, I'm gonna say you, I fail to see why you need me to help you with this. You've done fine without me so far. A fair point. However, until recently, I was able to rely on a supply of artifacts stored in my tower in Waterdeep. A supply that has now run dry. The reality of the matter is that a lone wizard with a chronic impairment such as my own <laughs> is in the most ideal chronic. with regards to self-defense. The manner of artifacts I need are not often found waiting patiently on a shopkeep's shelf. One usually has to lift them delicately from trap-filled tombs or prize them from the hands of violent ne'er-do-wells. Why do we have you in my party then? Or great cost. I expected as much. Don't worry, I'd be happy to help. Why exactly would I risk either of those things for a wizard? I barely know. And at the end of all this, uh, that I lose a valuable artifact? No thanks. Honestly, this sounds terrible. I see no side. <laughs> I just see no upside to this. Exactly. Why would I risk my life for the a wizard? I barely know. Valid question. If not out of the simple goodness of your heart, then perhaps your own self-interest might be sufficient motivation. Having a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands. It'd be far harder for me to assist you if I could barely stand upright. Please, hmm. trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. Very well. I'll do my best to do to get you what you need. No, if you aren't willing to tell me the truth, then I'm not helping. Wisdom, use your tadpole to seek danger at the heart of Gale's request. I don't know if my wisdom's very good. What do I need for wisdom? Oh, let's do it. Oh, Ooh, that was good. That was a that was a pretty tough difficulty. Sinister oppressing you. Oh inside of you. A mighty darkness radiating from your chest. You could try to push further, but your hold over Gale feels brittle. It won't be easy delving deeper without him noticing. I'm so tempted. What's the, what's the difficult would it ma would it matter? I'm curious. I I'm curious. What's the Come on, baby. I'm feeling lucky. I'm not very lucky. <laughs> I wanted to know. I just wanted to know. Plus, I don't know if I like Gale very much. So wait, use inspiration. Roll again. Nah, I'm good. You, you're using the tadpole against me. You had no right. None at all. <laughs> have a good mind to turn around and depart this little company of ours immediately. But you said you need me. I'd rather be alone. And spend another moment in the presence of someone inclined to such unjustified invasions of privacy. Wait, is he really gonna leave? Persuasion, be reasonable, Gail. Your conditional is unstable, possibly dangerous. I need it to know. Let's do persuasion. Add a bonus. Add guidance. I'm gonna use guidance. <laughs> I don't need him leaving my party. All right, let's do it. All right, we didn't even need it. Oh well. The need remains debatable. <sighs> but I recognize your responsibility. Perhaps my reaction was a tad volatile, the irony of which is not lost on me, though it needs remain so on you for the time being. I hope that the glimpse you caught of my condition convinced you of the urgency in treating it. Can I count on you to give me the artifacts I need? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Of course, I'd be happy to help. Would have it. You're already primed to give me exactly what I need. What? What did I pick up? What will happen if this item, if I give it to you? I consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket, but it will save my life, even if only temporarily. So Astarian needs blood and Gale needs artifacts. I can't help just now, bear with me, please. What's the artifact? Uh, we don't use shields, so sure, I'll donate. Thank you. hit the spot i can feel it work the magic i like i like that gale just decided to the demon inside. talk to the me right now 
I haste to point out, but no less dangerous, and no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. I'm glad you're feeling better. Your condition sounds unpleasant, to say the least. How do I know you're not the real monster? Perhaps now you'll tell me what it is that I... You know what? I will say I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Yeah, I'm very trusting, I guess. Don't mention it. Glad I could help. That condition of yours is a very expensive one. It in water deep. Nothing there comes cheap. Okay, well, Gail, you took up a lot of my time, brother. I think we're just about to get to the point where we're going to rescue our guy. So I think this is where we're going to end it. Oh, boy. Guys, that was a very, very long gaming session. And the majority of it was I was just stuck in certain spots. I think there was like, I think I spent like an hour just like, that's probably why my eye got so red. I was literally just like, what is going on? I could not stop like getting into turn-based mode. But we had some good moments. We were able to convince the goblins to let us through we've found some areas that we could go around each other we failed a couple combat tries uh succeeded in a lot of different roles i think that it was all around successful join me for next time where we'll actually be saving Hal halzen we'll be we'll be saving Halzen from the goblins and I don't know how we're gonna make it out of this <laughs> to be honest we could also try to help Volo that's also another thing we can try to do but I mean you'll have to wait and see what happens obviously consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any more Baldur's Gate 3 adventures and I'll see you guys in the next episode Mwah.